Welcome to Dark Psychology World Channel. What we bring is the 38 letters from J.D. Rockefeller to his son, perspectives, ideology, and wisdom. Letter 28, The Price of a Free Lunch. Dear John, I've noticed the article accusing me of being stingy. No more news saying I don't donate enough. This is nothing. I've been scolded enough by journalists who don't know what they're talking about. I'm used to their ignorance and harshness. The only way I responded to them was to remain silent. Without justification. No matter how much they criticize. Because I know my thoughts. I firmly believe that I am on the right side. Everyone needs to go their own way. The important thing is to have a clear conscience. There is a story. Maybe it can explain. Why? I rarely pay attention to people begging me for money. Someone to solve their personal problems. Better explain. Let me pay. What makes me more nervous than making money? One day, an old man drives a donkey pulling a two-wheeler. The cart was carrying a lot of wood and grain. Entering a village where wild boars are infested. Local residents are curious. So he walked up to the old man and asked him where he came from. What are you going to do? The old man told them that I am here to help you catch wild boars. When the villagers heard this, they laughed at him and said, Stop being funny. Something even a good hunter can't do. How could you do it? But two months later, the old man came back and told the villagers in that village. He has imprisoned the wild boar in a pen on the top of the mountain. The villagers were very surprised. Are you asking the old man? Unbelievable. How did you catch them? The old man explained that first. Just look for places where wild boars often come out to eat. Then I put some food in the open space. Bait for trap. The wild boars were startled at first. Finally, I ran over curiously to smell the food. Soon an old wild boar took the first bite other wild boars followed suit that's when I knew I was going to catch them the next day I added a little more grain and put up a wooden board a few feet away the board temporarily frightened them away like a ghost but that free lunch is tempting so soon they came back and started eating again the wild boars didn't know they were mine at the time what I'm going to do from now on just put up a few more boards around the grain every day until my trap is complete then I dug a hole the first stake was erected every time I flank something they will stay away for some time but in the end they all come in for a free lunch the fence is built the trap door is also ready the habit of getting something for nothing let them walk into the fence without fear then I unexpectedly put away the trap. Those wild boars eating for free. I caught him easily. The moral of the story is simple. When an animal depends on humans for food, its wit will be taken away. Then it gets in trouble. The same situation applies to humans. If you want to cripple a person, just give him a pair of crutches. Just wait a few more months and you'll be able to achieve your goal. In other words, if within a certain period of time, you give someone a free lunch, he will develop the habit of getting something for nothing. Don't forget that everyone is in their mother's womb. I started to need to be taken care of. Yes, I always encourage you to help others. But like I always tell you, if you give a man a fish, you can only support him for one day. But you taught him how to fish. It's like supporting him for his whole life. This old saying about fishing makes sense. In my opinion, grant money is the wrong kind of help. It will make a person lose the motivation to be thrifty and diligent and become lazy and unwilling to make progress. No sense of responsibility. More importantly, when you give alms to someone, you deny his dignity. You denied his dignity. You took away his destiny. This is extremely unethical in my opinion. As a rich man, 
I have the responsibility to be a messenger for the benefit of mankind. But you cannot be the initiator of creating lazy people. Once anyone develops a habit, be it good or bad, habit has always taken possession of him. The habit of eating free lunch. It will not make a person's path smooth. It can only make him lose the chance to win. But hard work is the only reliable way out. Work is the price we pay for success. Wealth and happiness can only be achieved through hard work. A long, long time ago, a wise old king wanted to write a book of wisdom, passed on to future generations. One day the old king summoned his wise ministers. Say there is no intelligent mind, like a lantern without candles. I want you to compile a book of wisdom from all ages, to brighten the future of our descendants. After these smart people took their orders and left, worked for a long time, finally completed a 12-volume masterpiece, and proudly declared that your majesty, this is a record of wisdom from all ages. The old king looked at it and said, gentlemen, I'm sure this is the wisdom of all ages, but it's too thick. I'm worried that people reading it won't get the point. Let's condense it. These smart people have to spend a lot of time. After several cuts, the original book was compiled into one volume, but the old king still thought it was too long and ordered them to concentrate again. These smart people condensed the book into one chapter, then make a simple page, become a paragraph again. Finally, it becomes a sentence. The wise old king looked very surprised when he saw this sentence proud gentleman he said this is really the crystallization of wisdom from all ages and once people everywhere know this truth most of our problems can be solved this sentence means there is no free lunch in the world chapter one of the book of wisdom the last chapter is that there is no free lunch in the world if people knew want to stand out it must be at the expense of hard work most people will achieve something it will also make the world a better place and people who eat free lunch sooner or later you will have to pay a more painful price with both capital and profits live alone must be between oneself and the outside world create something enough to give life and death some dignity love you father thanks for listening to dark psychology world channel we will continue to bring you in the next issue. 38 Letters from J.D. Rockefeller to His Son.